Hello, 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 and welcome to Workouts for Older Men Live. I am Skip LaCour. So glad you're joining me here for this continual connection. Come to you about this time almost every single night. I want to answer any questions that you may have. I want to simplify this process. If you're a little bit older, you have a busy, productive life, and uh, you're getting confused by all the information on the internet, the seemingly conflicting information on the internet, and all you, you're ready to do the work, uh, just give me a training program. Just give me an eating plan. Tell me exactly what to do. Uh, sell me, persuade me, convince me that when I do what you tell me to do, I'm going to get the results. So I'll be more motivated, less angst, anxiety. I won't have to worry about wasting time. And then give me a realistic time frame when all of this is going to happen. Am I doing well? Is this the right amount of muscle I should gain? Uh, is this fat loss? I mean, is this good? Is this bad? I need to know what to expect and when to expect it. That's what you're looking for. That's what I come to you for. I want to explain this process to you so you can get fit and healthy at this age. Whether you've been doing it for the last 20 years and you just now want to take it to the next level, you want to find those distinctions, those strategies, maybe something that you've never really done and now is the time to take it to the next level. Or you've just bring, been training for a year or less You've got some space in your schedule and in your life. Took care of your family and your business, the majority of your adult life. And now, now you have the time, the energy. You want to make this happen. I am here for you. I've been doing this for 33 years. Uh, Six-time national champion, drug-free bodybuilder. All I thought about was bodybuilding for 15 years of my life. <laughs> Didn't care. Totally focused on that, probably nothing else. And I sucked at everything else, but I was a great drug free body. But I did all these things that you're seeing all over TikTok and Facebook and Instagram, all these young guy things that how they think and do it. Did all that probably and a lot more. Look great. But 18 years now since I stopped the competitive bodybuilding life, and I had to, you know, do what I'm doing now business and family, what you did earlier in life, you know, now. I'm doing that. So uh, I want to help you with the process. Um, hey, I am in a series of 10 things that older men should know about fitness, uh, but no one's going to bother to tell you. All right. And when I say that, why aren't they going to bother to tell you? Because the the tie, the, the common accepted way of thinking is so entrenched uh, to do it a certain way. It's not really how it works, but uh, just, okay, go ahead. Just do it that way. Make sure you eat right doesn't really work that way. It's probably confusing you. Uh, but to reverse that tie that generally accepted, it's kind of not really worth it, right? Um, it doesn't matter that much, but it, it adds to the confusion, right? So I've been doing this series. And today I want to talk about how to confuse the muscles properly for growth, how to confuse the muscles properly for growth. I, you know, what's interesting, I don't care if a man has been training 15 years or 15 minutes. Somewhere in the conversation, one of the strategies they picked up that they should do is to confuse the muscle. And if you don't confuse the muscle, you're not going to grow, right? By confusing the muscle, you got to change your routine. You got to change your routine often. Now, here's the interesting thing. Uh, some guys think that should be every three weeks. Some guys think every workout should be uh, mixed up. The more they confuse, the more growth. Let me just tell you that that seems like it makes a lot of sense. And I don't care if you're getting great gains and you it's hard to know and appreciate uh, how you're progressing. You just want more. Now, you don't have a reason to necessarily think that, but you're working hard. Maybe for the first time you want better results. So I don't care who you are, what kind of progress. Everybody wants more gains and faster. They want to lose fat and faster. And they... Maybe for no reason, just think they should. So they're always looking for reasons. And that confusing the muscle seems to be generally accepted, right? So they change the routines often. A lot of guys aren't certain of the training routine that they even have in the first place. So they go from one training routine to the other. I talk about the organizing principles that will make any training strategy work. So training from one to the other just adds more confusion. A lot of times that's not even the cause of why you look that way in the mirror. And I talk about diet and getting lean and how much muscle you can build in, in this series, right? You don't have to switch your routine often, whatever that means to you. What you need to do is create progressive overload. What's going to confuse the muscle, it's just not used to doing, it's not the same exercise, but stimulating that, that 
body part, whether it's your biceps or your chest or your legs, whatever it is, you got to go one more rep, five more pounds, whatever exercise that is. It's hitting that muscle, you know, um, they're hitting them from different angles, but it's overload doing more. I mean, you can go out of pace, you can do three different exercises, you can change the order of them, you can mix in another one. But if you're going at a certain pace, a lot of guys don't understand overload. They just pick a rep scheme, they kind of check off the box that's better than most, but that's it, it's getting used to uh, the amount of resistance that you're doing. Five more pounds, one more rep. If you've gone too far after a while, then it's better form, feel, and execution. There's different ways to feel more stimulation. Doing the same exercise week after week where you can measure progress. How do I know it's one more if I'm constantly changing? If I do a dumbbell incline bench press and it's at the beginning of my week, the first exercise for chest, and then I change to the end of my week and the last exercise for chest, it's no longer comparable. So you might do that for two weeks and say, oh, I do whatever, 60 pound dumbbells for six or whatever, or eight, whatever it is. You change it's a whole different Extra that's no longer comparable. You might find out that you're underachieving just because it's no longer comparable to push yourself for more. How do you know it's not directly comparable to get that one more rep or five more pounds? That's going to confuse you and maybe trick you into complacency rather than comparing week after week after week. It's that mentality, progressive overload, the one set you're trying to do more, being safe, of course. Right, five more pounds, one more rep, better form, filling it, execution. You're putting that down when you just can't do anymore. Again, staying safe. All right, that's what's confusing. Hey, I gotta grow. It's tearing down more. This is different than the last time. Rather than switching the order with the same okay mentality. All right, so you can do the same routine for six straight months if you have that in mind. And again, when you look in the mirror. You're about 20 pounds overweight. You think you got the right training. Is it because I'm not switching my routine off of them? That's not it. Look elsewhere. Jason, hello, hello, hello. Good to have you here. Bland, hello, hello, hello. Warren, hello. Good group tonight. Awesome. Good job, guys. Darren, hello, hello, hello. I'm kind of watching my camera. It's blinking at any minute. I can be shutting off, and I want to fit finish this show right uh uh chan and uh good morning for your part of the world hello 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 brian guy hello 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 good to have you here sir all right uh kirk hello 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 yes it is a good group bruce hello skip what was the earliest time you started your kids strength training with lighter weights i have not done any strength training uh, with my kids yet and they're uh, just my daughter's about nine and uh, my son is about seven and a half no strength training uh, you may have seen us you know kind of play around on a couple of videos but that will come my my son uh, starts a uh, tackle football here in about a month and a half and so we'll do some type of training uh, you know I don't know about actual weights but you know weighted and pushing the sled and be pushing them around, beating them up, knocking them down, right? Get them used to the tackle football, right? So yes, none of that quite yet. Skip, I was wondering, at 50 years old, what pace should one do a workout at? Fast and intense, slow and controlled, long rest, short rest between. You know, what's my opinion is what's your goal? You know, for the type of training that I do that thinks best, that works best for most men who I work with, it's not really athletic training. It's not like, uh, you know, functional training. It's the weight training is to build muscle. All right. And then you get lean through your diet and the combination makes you healthy and fit. But there's a lot of different, like, you know, CrossFit's more athletic. There's a lot of different ways to go about it. All right. So uh, overload training, you, you, you maybe do a fewer sets than you might think. Uh, you control the, the weight, it's overload. You rest as long as it takes to do that again. All right. So go to my website, um, scoopacore.com. I talk about training. There's a whole library of videos there. If you, Jim, or anybody want to talk about some one on one training, reach out to me. My information will be below. I'll make myself available. We'll talk about it first. You know, let me just say that I had a gentleman who wanted some of it. I'm very generous with my time. You see how I do these videos, right? And I send you to a link to fill out a questionnaire. It tells me where you're at now, where you've been, how much effort you put in this. If you don't fill that out, 
look, I've got kids, I've got family, I got to do shows, right? If you're not going to put the effort and tell me, really think about your journey so I can look at it, maybe if I, if I know that I can maybe help you from the information you provided me, uh, I might have you send me a picture. A picture tells me a thousand words. You'll get time to talk to me. But if you can't fill out the form, I got other things to do. All right. So if you're interested in talking, see if, if it's a good fit for you, uh, you can text me. My number will be down below, 925-352-4366. All right. Text me. Like I said, I'm more than happy to talk. I go on, you know, Jason, we've talked for literally years every week. Right. So I don't mind talking to you for 20 minutes, half an hour, answer some questions for you, see if it's a good fit. Darren. Hello. 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 Randy. Hello. Corey. Hello there. All right, guys. Warrant. Warren. How you doing? All right. So that's going to do it for Workouts for Older Men Live. I'll continue my series of the 10 things that older men should know about fitness, but no one's going to bother to tell you. But you really need to know these things. All right, reach out if you want some one-on-one -on -one coaching. We can talk about the journey ahead, take you to that next level. All right, so let's take on the day with a sense of urgency. We have to when we're a little bit older. We've got more time behind us than we do in front of us. Have a great day.